Hi, Jackie Lewis here. We're at the Colony Theater in Burbank, California for the opening night of Footloose the Musical. We're going to have amazing guests, so stay tuned. And are you in the musical? I am in the musical. I'm playing Ren McCormack. I love it. How exciting is that? Oh, it's, it's so exciting. And a uh, fun, little, fun little fact, I actually played Ren McCormack exactly 10 years ago today. Exactly 10 years ago today in high school, junior year, we did Footloose at my school, John Carroll High in uh, Bel Air, Maryland. And uh, I also played Ren. So it's like the universe kind of bring me back to Ren McCormack. Well, I love that. And what an amazing cast you're with tonight. Such an amazing cast. Everybody's really talented. Everybody knows their part and they do it well. Um, that Not only the cast, but the production team as well. I think that's also something that I'm very impressed with. Um, the lighting, the music, the, the, the direction team, and the choreography. Everybody just is very good at what they do. And obviously opening night tonight. And um, how long a run are you going to have? We're going to have a run for about three weeks. We're well, not about three weekends. Uh, you can catch us until March 17th. And people can go to the Colony Theater to get their tickets? Yeah, you can go to thecolonytheater.org. Um, you can also probably find them through the Instagram, Colony Theater. Um, yeah. And uh, where can we find out more information about you? You can find more information about me on Instagram at bfrog15. Just kind of frogging around, but... <laughs> Do you have any other projects you want to talk about? Sorry? Any other projects you'd like to talk about right now that you're able to talk about? Uh, not at the moment, not at the moment. Still just, you know, sending stuff out, trying to get what I could take. But uh, no, this is my priority right now, and we're going to do it. And um, what is your part in the musical today? I play Ariel Moore in the show, Footloose. So how are you enjoying being in this particular musical? Um, so I'm having so much fun. Um, the last time I, I did Footloose, like, 11 years ago when I was like 17, giving away my age, but, um, and I played Wendy Jo, so it's really fun to come back and get to explore a new character and just like experience being in this show again. It is, there's nothing like it, it's so much fun. So how is the cast with this show? Oh, the cast is amazing. Everyone is so talented, amazing dancers, amazing singers, actors, and everyone is so kind, so sweet, lovely to be around. We're all having such a good time. And uh, where can people find you on social media? My Instagram is Kelsey Lee Smith underscore. Well, Barry Pearl, the director, who I've known for years, called me and asked me if I would audition for the role of uh, Shaw Moore, the preacher. And I said I would be honored because I love the movie, I love the, the role, and I, I was very excited just to work with him. And now this amazing cast, I had no idea, just they're so talented. So it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege. And um, are there any other projects that you're working on right now that you can talk about? Well, I'm just, uh, I've am just i been working on a musical called 44, the Obama musical, and we've been running at the Bourbon Room, and we've been coming back and forth there. I play Mitch McConnell in that. So that's coming back to the Bourbon Room again in April, and then hopefully going to New York. So. I have heard of that musical. That's great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And where can people find you on social media? Well, you can find me on Instagram at, at Larry Cedar Actor, and then Facebook, just do a search for Larry Cedar. And Twitter, at Larry Cedar, and uh, that's it. My website, www.larrycedar.com. And how are you involved with the musical? Uh, I'm Vi. I play the pastor's wife. That's how I'm involved. Yes, so that's how I'm involved. I'm married to the pastor. <laughs> And, and how are you enjoying this musical? Oh, it's great. I mean, I love to sing. Singing is my first love. So anywhere I get to sing or there's a stage, I'll hop on it. <laughs> yeah, and you've been in a few things at the Colony, haven't you? Um, I actually haven't. I have not, no. But I've been in a lot of musicals and tours and things like that, yes. And I sing all over the place, so yeah. So how is this theater? Oh, I love it. They've done such a great job with um, the renovations, and it's just, it's so beautiful, and I'm so happy that um, Heather has taken over the theater, and I'm just so excited that there's another great theater just in Southern California, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. And are there any projects you're able to talk about right now? Any other projects you're working on, or is this your primary focus right now? Um, this is my focus right now, so just concentrating on this one, you know, just been auditioning a lot and all that stuff, yes. but And singing, I just sing, but it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I just sing. <laughs> and where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the Robin Delano, and then I'm on YouTube as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. 
who do you play in this musical? I play Rusty, who is Ariel's best friend. Love that. Yeah. And are you having a good time doing the musical? Oh my gosh, I mean, it's just the best. It's such a joyful show, and we have such a joyful and fun cast to be with every single day. I love it. Have you learned anything from playing this role? I, I think Rusty tells people what she wants. And like, even though she's like a little bit kooky about it, I think that's something I could learn. Instead of just assuming people know what I want, I think I could be a little bit more direct. And I think that Rusty does just that. Love it. Where can we find you on social media? At Casey Ann Appregan. So uh, you're here in this amazing musical tonight. Yes. So what part are you playing? I play Ethel McCormack. I am Rin's mother. Rin's cool mom. Her cool mom. I'm the cool mom. I'm the cool mom, yeah. And what have you most enjoyed about this role? I've enjoyed just the camaraderie and lasting friendships that have, you know, happened over just a month of rehearsing. We've only rehearsed this for about a month, and we put this up really quickly. But it's been an incredible experience and really nice to be able to perform with people that are so incredibly talented and loving and kind. And um, what tips do you have for people... I think just coming out to see the musical right now to give them a little bit of joy during these tough times, what do you think? I think it's just time to lay your burdens down as the Reverend says so lovingly in this show. Just come, enjoy, have a drink, kick back, relax, and cut loose with the cast of Footloose. I love it. Where can people find you on social media? You can find me at Witty Pixie, W-H-I-T-T-Y-P-I-X-I-E on all social media platforms. So how are you involved in this musical? Uh, I'm in the dance ensemble for this musical. So I'm one of the students. I play one of the students. Well, that's great. Is this one of your first musicals that you've ever done? Uh, no, I've done a few musicals, but this, uh, definitely with this particular cast, it's such an incredible experience. I personally haven't had a cast this warm and this inviting in a really long time, so it's really fun. Yeah, it seems like you guys are all getting along really well. Most definitely, most definitely. Are there any other projects you're working on that you're able to talk about right now? Uh, at this moment, no. Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing coming up, but a lot of auditions, so still living the L.A. actor life and trying to go for it. Yeah. And where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Matthew with one T, uh, San Jose. So Matthew San Jose. Great. Love your earring. I love Thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And how are you involved with the musical tonight? I play Bickle in the cast. I'm one of uh, Ren and Willard's friends. Great. Have you been enjoying working on the musical? It's been so much fun. The show is fun and the music is great and it's been a, honestly one of my favorite casts that I've ever worked with. Just a really sweet group of people. Yeah, that's what I've heard. The cast really loves each other. It honestly, and I know this sounds good to say but I'm not just saying it, it's the first time I've been in a cast where 100% of everyone is fun and kind and gets along. It's been really, really wonderful. Yeah, that, that's so important, especially yeah. when you're working together. And you're going to be working together for three weeks, right? Yes, we open tonight, and then we run for the next three weekends. Uh, we're exhausted, but excited, and uh, I think the energy of a sold-out opening night is going to kind of revive us a little bit. And where can people find you on social media? I am on Instagram, at Michael Riskin. And what part do you play in the musical? I am Student Dance Ensemble. Oh, I love that. How long have you been dancing? I started dancing when I was seven, and yeah, I'm now 23, so long time. <laughs> How many musicals have you been in? Uh, I've only been in, this is my third one. So yeah, I did Peter Pan, I did Chorus Line, and now I'm here with Footloose, and I'm so grateful. Yeah. Well, it seems like a great cast, great musical. And are there any projects, other projects you're working on right now, or you're just sort of focused on this right now? Yeah, I'm just focused on this right now. I just moved to L.A. last month, so I'm um, auditioning a lot and lots of rehearsals, and it's been magical. I love it. Yeah. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, Veronica Carolina Late. That's my Instagram, last name L-E-I-T-E. And uh, how are you involved with the musical? Yeah, so I play uh, the character Jeter, which is one of Ren's friends, and, um, you know, it's just all about dancing. Want to join him in dancing? Love it. And um, is this one of your first musicals or how or uh, endeavors in theater? Uh, no, no. I've been in the theater scene for a while, about a decade. Um, but this is my first time at the Colony Theater, so I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, it's an amazing theater, isn't it? It is. It is. It's really beautiful. I'm glad that uh, you know they put out all the stops to make everyone have fun, um, and it's going to be a good time for anyone that comes out to see it. 
And where can people find you on social media? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram and Twitter, or X now, um, at mbitang, M-B-I-T-E-N-G. Have fun tonight, thank you. How are you involved with the musical tonight? Uh, so I'm playing Cowboy Bob, I'm also the understudy for Chuck, um, and I'm just out there having a good time with everybody else. Yeah, it's a really great cast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stellar cast, one of the best I've ever been a part of. And are there any other projects you're working on right now? At the moment, no. I'm just uh, making a move out to L.A. pretty soon. Excited about that. New things coming, you know. But, um, yeah. Well, I love this cast. I think there's going to be, like, a lot of people here who, you know, you're kind of starting out. And I think in, you're going to be in big Broadway shows soon. Oh, yeah. Keep your eyes on us for sure. Yeah. we have got to watch out for us. We're coming for your jobs. <laughs> And where can we find you on social media? On social media, you can find me at Michael98Wells on Instagram. And I am in the student ensemble. And how, uh, is this your first musical? Or? No, this is not my first musical. Honestly, I can't really keep track of which one I'm on. But I've been dancing professionally since I was 10 and really got back into the industry about four years ago. And I've just been doing ever since. And how are you, how are you feeling to be in this theater? Honestly, it just feels great to be doing theater in LA. Like I feel like it's such a rare thing to have such a beautiful space and beautiful people to be surrounded by. And so it just feels good because Southern California is my home. So it's good to be home and it's good to be performing at home. Right, and where can people find you on social media? Uh, you guys can find me at Ariel Detmer on Instagram, TikTok, and that's also my website too. I uh, play the coach and understudy at Reverend Shaw Moore. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So you're here at the Colony Theater. What a beautiful theater, isn't it? Uh, the theater, first of all, is great, but it's even better now. They've just renovated a bunch of it, and it was already great, and now it's even better and crisper and nicer. And it's a place I would definitely not only love to work again, but I would come see anything here. It's a great space. And do you have any projects you're working on that you're able to talk about in addition to this one? Uh, well, after this, I do a, a, this political satire tour. I do impersonations. And, uh, play this, and they send us all over the country. It's, it kind of makes fun of all the political candidates because of the election. That's coming up. And then um, I'm in a, a Western film that's coming up. So just whatever I can do, I try to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. And where can we find you on social media? Uh, it's uh, Chris Smith Training on Instagram. Chris Smith Training. Uh, Christopher R. Smith on Facebook. Can people still use that? And just Christopher Robert Smith and I am IMDb. Uh, so, Mr. Monroy, I heard that you auditioned for Footloose, the original movie. Uh, well, as, as you can see, I am very much, it uh, should have been uh, Kevin Bacon's role. Uh, I auditioned for that, you know, but you know what, I had to let him have it. And he's done okay with it since, and uh, so have I have gone on. But no, it's uh, great to be here celebrating, you know, another incarnation of one of the great American movies, Footloose. It is an American classic because it has a great story. You know, it has, um, you know, uh, everyone who at one time didn't fit in wherever they came from or that we all are a little different. And then you bring in the music and everybody's got their own style of dance and, uh, and everybody's got their own style of, of dressing. And it works for each individual person. And that's what Footloose was all about, to, you know, celebrate your individuality, bring who you are just the way you are and stand out and be your best. Love that. I've heard that you uh, have also, you're the only comedian to have ever opened for the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Uh, did he teach you any moves while you were on tour with him? <laughs> did MJ teach me any moves? Look, I was just trying to keep up with the guy walking, uh, let alone dancing. But, uh, you know, I'm Latino. Latinos, we got some moves. And, uh, you know, but I kind of I work. I'm in the shoulders and, and hips. I'm shoulders and hips so I kind of work a little differently than Michael Jackson Michael Jackson you know he he jumps he spins he walks backwards and um, and he does it all amazing and uh, it was an incredible experience to be part of his career at the time that he was skyrocketing and becoming the biggest star in the world then and I truly believe now and we really could use a Michael Jackson again someone who brings people around the world Thank you so much. Thank you. My fans, they just can't wait to dance with me. Uh, but Michael Jackson brought people together in a way that was different than all these wonderful new artists. And, you know, I'm thinking about uh, Paris Jackson. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm appearing all week. Uh, but, you know, Paris Jackson, his daughter, she's got her own brand of music and her own look. And I have had a chance to visit with her. And, remember her as a child and to see her all grown up 
once again embracing her own style of music and she's killing it and doing amazing. Prince Jackson, uh, uh, the eldest son, is picked up where his father left off. And with when I worked with MJ, he created Heal the World Foundation. And uh, Prince Jackson has now taken on Heal LA. And he is doing amazing work for not only just Los Angeles, for, for people all over the world through Heal LA Foundation. So support, go to Heal, uh, Heal LA Foundation, donate. There's movie nights coming up throughout this year. I will be there at some of those movie nights, and I'm sure we'll be screening Footloose as well. So whenever you arrive at the red carpet, Jamie, there's an electricity, and you always have great style. What's that all about? Well, I think I just, um, you know, every day I wake up, and I do three things. I think positive, I work hard, and I find something to be happy about a little bit every day. And that's the sunshine and that's the brightness of this energy that I bring wherever I go. And it really is uh, infectious and I think that's what brings people's energy up because to be honest with you, a lot of places where we go, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of darkness, a lot of heaviness and a lot of depression. And so I'm here to bring people up because it's our day and it's up to us to make it the best day we can. Well, thanks for sharing your secret. You never age. You always are so positive. Um, last question. Are you doing stand-up comedy this year? Yes. Oh, my God. Good question. Uh, you know, I've been caught up with acting and, of course, on the red carpet. You know, we're in award season right now. And uh, I noticed that, um, you know, after the Golden Globes and the People's Choice Awards and the Critics' Choice and the Grammys, in the rain, it didn't matter because the music was amazing and that made it all worth it. But it was one of those things where we've got the, uh, um, the Academy Awards coming up, March 10th, and then we're going to be able to spend some more time developing and getting back on stage and bringing the laughs. Great. Well, have fun tonight. And where can we find you on social media? I'm at the Jamie Monroy on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for making us laugh. Thanks for always a fun interview and have fun tonight. All right. Thanks so much. I'm going to moonwalk out. What character are you playing in the musical? I'm in the student ensemble and I understudy Ariel and Rusty. Yeah. You have such a great look. So uh, tell us how it feels to be in this musical. Oh, it feels great. Um, I studied musical theater in college, graduated last year, so it's fun to like be back on the stage. Um, and I have a few of my like peers with me from school, so it's just awesome to be able to collaborate in this professional setting. Yeah. And are there any projects you're working on right now that you're able to talk about? Um, Footloose. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Living my life. Yeah. And you'll be here for three more weeks, right? Yeah. We're, we're here on the next three weekends. Yeah. Through March 17th. And where can people find you on social media? You can find me at, at Madison Miyuki, M-I-Y-U-K-I, on all platforms. How are you involved with the musical? I am a dancer in the show. <laughs> so how many dancers are there? There are six official dancers and like a seventh. <laughs> so like six to seven, depending on the scene. <laughs> it's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's been super fun, though, because the dancing is like, we got to be in every number, basically. And it's like so rewarding as a dancer to be in such a fun production like this. <laughs> you get, you get more, more steps in than you need, right? Yeah, I'm like dripping in sweat after every number. But it's been such such a joy to be part of the show and just like to do what I love every night on, when we perform on stage. <laughs> Where can we find you on social media? My Instagram is lauren.s.barrett and my TikTok is Lauren Barrett. It's B-A-R-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. <laughs> I'm an actor in the musical. I sing, do some dancing. I play Wendy Jo. How are you enjoying it? Oh my gosh, it's a blast. I mean, a show about dancing and kids just having fun, like you just have fun with it. And, um, and how did you get here? Like, did you see the casting call? How did that all work out? Yeah, I saw it on Actors Access and submitted myself, and here we are. <laughs> and uh, where can people find you on social media? Find me everywhere across all platforms at Lauren Larati. That's L-O-R-A-T-I. I am actor, dancer, singer in the show. I play Garvin, one of Ren's friends, yeah. Oh, that's great. Are you having a good time? So much fun. Oh my god, the choreography. Michelle, our choreographer, amazing. And the music is obviously so fun. It's well known, so the whole audience always loves it. Yeah. Yes, 
isn't that great? Everybody sings along, right? Yeah, it's so fun. And it's like, you, we know these songs, you know, from just like pop, public, and it's like, you know, you keep singing it like once you go home and stuff, yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Me on Instagram, it's Chris Ho with two R's, so C-H-R-R-I-S-H-O. We love it. Love your hair. Love your look. Thank you so much. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. And how are you involved in the musical? Uh, I'm one of the dancers in the show, but you'll catch me dancing and singing all throughout the show today. Are you having a good time? I'm loving the show. It's such a good time. Such a good time. I heard it's a great cast as well, right? Yes, it's a great cast. I love the cast and I love the story of the musical as well. Just like showing everyone to stand up and what you, or for what you believe in. I love that. Where can we find you on social media? Um, you can find me on social media at Aman. It'll be A-L-M-A-N-D. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You as well. I hope to see you out in the audience. And I play Travis. And how, how much fun are you having? Cut foot loose. I'm having a ton of fun. You know, it's great. I'm playing one of the bad boys. Get to walk around and snicker and smirk and having a great time. And how's the cast to work with? Oh, everyone's amazing. Uh, it's my second year doing Footloose. I did it with Panic Productions in Simi Valley last year. I was really lucky to get brought on again. Everyone's amazing, amazing creative team. Shout out to Allison and Paul, the producers. They're awesome. Love everybody. And um, are there any other projects you're working on right now that you're able to talk about? Projects I'm working on right now? Well, let's see. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing some meal prep. Uh, I got to uh, save money. I make freezer burritos. It's all about the freezer burritos. But as far as like acting projects, no. So hire me. I'm, I'm, I'm not booked. <laughs> and where can we find you on social media? I don't really use Instagram like that. I kind of keep it private a little bit, you know. Um, it's interesting. So many of you guys are asking about it. That's like interesting. I'm not used to that. But this is my first red carpet event, so. Yeah, yeah. that's like the thing because everybody's doing that whole yeah, social media yeah. stuff. Yeah. But are you on IMDb? I am on IMDb. Yeah, it's Noah High. H E I E. It's Norwegian. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you, Jackie. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. And how are you involved with the musical? I'm playing Erlene. Yeah. And how has the experience been? Oh, it's been absolutely joyful. It's so much fun. It's an energy-packed show, and it's just so hilarious. I can't wait for everyone to see it. And uh, where can people find you on social media? You can find me at Cami Del Rosario on all platforms. And how do you spell your last name? D-E-L space R-O-S-A-R-I-O. And what role do you play in the musical? I'm a lovely dance student ensemble member. I'm having just a ball dancing full out high energy at all times. <laughs> I know. I, what I am thinking is you guys are getting your workout every day for this musical and every rehearsal, right? Absolutely. I'm also getting quite a mental one as well, being a dance captain of this fabulous cast. I love getting to work with them and just they're such a good group. So getting to be just so high energy and also just like have the physical and mental challenge has just been so great all around. We love that. And where can we find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at MaryKate.Chapman. And how are you involved with the musical? I am in, I'm part of the dance student ensemble, so I'm one of the dancers that you see jumping around on stage all night. <laughs> are you having a good time in this musical? I'm having such a blast. This cast is so amazing, and I feel like the energy we have together is really great. <laughs> well, have a great time, and uh, tell us where people can find you on social media. At Kalula Sawyer on Instagram. Thank you. How are you involved with the musical tonight? I play Willard Hewitt. Uh, he's the, the cowboy, local town boy. Uh, not sure what's going on, but here for a good time. Are you enjoying the role? I am, yeah, yeah. It's been a, a ton of fun, lots of discovery, and um, I think every night's going to be different, and that's exciting. Yeah, it seems like it's such a great cast. I've been having a great time with the cast, yeah. Everybody's been so nice, and truly that's all you can ask for. Yeah. And where can people find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram, uh, jbeardsley27. Have fun tonight, thank you. Thank you so much. And how are you involved with the musical? I play Wes, um, I play Ren's uncle in the show. And how is that role feeling for you? How do you like it? I, I like it. This is typically something that um, I, I'm in, something that uh, is more the father, the uncle, the cop, so it, it's in my wheelhouse. That's great. Are there any other projects that you're working on right now that you're able to talk about? Hmm. Uh, currently, I'm not. this is my only project right now, but looking forward, I have some auditions coming up and things like that, so we'll see. 
Well, this is a lot of work, you know? I, I don't think people appreciate how much work it is. So thank you so much for doing it. And uh, where can we find you on social media? At Sarone Jones on Instagram. C-E-R-O-N-J-O-N-E-S. Here with Jillian Clare. How are you, Jillian? I'm doing good. How are you? So we're here at the opening night for the Footloose Musical. It's very exciting. Yeah, I love independent theater. I love musicals. I'm very excited to be here. And uh, tell us what's going on with you right now. I know you're very busy. Yeah, um, I have a new podcast called The Case Within that is out on all platforms now. We were just nominated for several Indie Series Awards, which we're very excited about. Um, I'm now on the sag after LA local board, so I spend a lot of time in meetings and uh, committee stuff. So I'm very excited about that, and I have a few different uh, projects I'm working on right now. Well, that's great. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me at Jillian Clare. Well, have fun tonight, and we're here at the Amazing Colony Theater, so it's going to be a great night. It is. Thank you so much. I'm not in the musical, thank God, because I can't sing. I like dancing, though. Well, you're amazing as always. So how are you doing, Kira? I'm doing fabulous. I'm in one of my favorite places. We actually had to go and make sure that the Colony Theater didn't close down this year. We went to the city council and had to talk about, you know, how much we love it and all the events that go on here. So it's so great to be here, to have a new musical that's here. I haven't ever seen Full Loose, a musical. Well, you're going to have a good time. That's great. Yeah, I used to dance around to the cassette tape when I was a teenager, you know. <laughs> All the songs, I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. Remember these songs? I do. I love it when you sing. You're so fun, Kira. <laughs> so are there any projects that uh, you're working on right now you want to talk about? Well, in this very theater, two years ago, I did the festival circuit with my show Rumors, and it has finally come out on Tubi yesterday. It takes a long time sometimes to make things happen, especially when you're doing things low budget, you're doing it as a labor of love, you're doing it from scratch. But we finally got a sales agent and got it, you know, marketed, and it's out there for the world to see. So watch Rumors on Tubi now. We will, absolutely. And then I'm nominated for an Indie Series Award this year for my guest spot for the guest starring role on Odd Man Out, which I shot in Atlanta. I did eight episodes as the lead guy's boss. I don't know why I always get cast as this boss lady person, because I'm really fun and I just want to dance and let's hear it for the boy, let's give the boy a hand. But they cast me as the mean boss lady. <laughs> Well, it's because you're so versatile, that's why. Acting, darling, acting, yes. <laughs> well, where can people find you on social media? Follow me at kiraredlorsch.com. Well, thank you. It's always fun. And at this and TikTok. And it's all the same. It's my name. <laughs> well, that's kind of good, right? Because we yeah. can find you. If you can spell it. Are you going to chiron it so they can, they can spell it? Yeah, They're yeah. like, you're too close to the camera. We can see up your nose. Go back. <laughs> so we're here with Patrika Darbo at Footloose the Musical. Are you excited, Patrika? Footloose. <laughs> Oh God, yes. I'm a I'm original Kevin Beck, Kevin Bacon. So, and there for me there is no other, and um, never will be. But I'm excited to see this because I've not seen live theater of the show. So I'm very excited to be here tonight, and I love the Colony Theater. So, um, what could be better? And we've seen you on some commercials lately, haven't we? <laughs> yes, I'm on the Home Zinc commercial doing hair, <laughs> talking about corn. <laughs> We love that. Any other projects you're able to talk about? I'm going back on Days of Our Lives starting next week. So I'm, I'm taking the night off from memorizing lines. Anyway, so yes. It's Congratulations. Great. We're so happy to have you back. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be back. I'm very grateful. Thank you, everyone. So yes, it's going to be good. Well, we love your character. And where can we find you on social media? I'm uh, Darbo Patrika on Instagram and Patrika Darbo, no A. I don't know who that is. I don't know who Bizbriar 2019 is. And I'm too dinosaur-y to try to figure out how to eliminate all those. Anyway, so Darbo Patrika or Patrika Darbo. Huh? Okay. <laughs> We're here with Jane Seymour at the opening night of Footloose at the Colony Theater. How are you feeling about it? I'm excited. I, I love seeing young, new talent, 
I think it's great that they're doing it in this beautiful theatre. Sits, and I, I, you know, I really love the movie, so I'm sure I love the musical. Yeah, and you did a movie a couple years ago, a dancing movie, didn't you? A dancing movie. Oh, yes, I've done uh, two actually, um, High Strong and High Strong Free Dance, and in fact, the same uh, one of the same directors, uh, Janine Damien. Um, I'm going to New York tomorrow for uh, the uh, Irish Wish, which is going to be on Netflix. Uh, I play Lindsay Lohan's mother, so I'm I'm here tonight and flying tomorrow and doing that. That's so exciting! What a great project. Yeah, I love, I love anything to do with dance. I love. Well, and I saw the the movie. It was amazing. It is. Thank you. So, um, any other projects that you'd like to talk about tonight? Uh, yes, I did a short film directed and written by Alicia Coppola called And You Are, and it's been accepted now by a couple of uh, film festivals, but hopefully more on the way, including the Beverly Hills Film Festival. Um, and it's a short that I'm incredibly proud of that I did with her. I'm also uh, producing a film about uh, the truth about horses. It's a, a book written by Chrissy Cashman that I got the rights to, and I'm actively working on that right now. Um, uh, Harry Wilde is playing on Acorn. Season three comes up in May, and it looks like I might be going back there in the summer. So a lot is going on, a lot. Well, you're really busy. You never stop, but we love you. We admire you, and have a great time tonight. Thank you. Thanks. So here we are with Frank Sheffield. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? So how are you feeling tonight at this amazing uh, opening for the musical? I'm very excited. You know, I, I, I'm excited to see the musical, but I'm also happy to be here at the uh, Colony. You know, we thought we might have lost it a while ago, and I'm so glad it's going to stick around. It's a great venue, and I'm very excited to be here. And also, you're very involved with the Thalians. You're president of the Thalians. So tell us a little bit about that organization. Well, you know, the Thalians have been around. Next year will be our 70th anniversary. I'm very excited to be president during this time. We're going to have a big event next year. We'll be making a big announcement. It's going to be like our old events, uh, hopefully at the uh, Beverly Hilton, uh, with a great honoree. And we're inviting back past honorees that are still alive to come to the event. And some of the people that are still around that we've honored are Whoopi Goldberg, Sally Field, Shirley MacLaine, um, Smokey Robinson. We have some really great honorees that are still around. And we're excited about celebrating that. We are partnered with Operation Men from UCLA that helps the returning uh, veterans with their emotional and mental health needs. So we're very excited and very proud to be part of their organization and such a worthy cause. And where can people find information about the Thalians? Uh, we are at the Thalians.org. That's T-H-A-L-I-A-N-S.org. And uh, we also are on Facebook. And check us out. How are you feeling today? We're here at the musical for Footloose. I'm always in a good mood to see um, a, a good musical, especially when it's some 80s jams, too, like an 80s classic. It's great. And uh, tell us, do you have any projects that you'd like to talk about tonight? Sure. You know, I actually, uh, right before the strike, I wrapped a pilot called Crescendo. So, um, well, um, that's going to be an interesting project. I, uh, I can't wait to have some more announcements on that. I've heard it's what they've shot is incredible. And um, I also did the feature film uh, directed by my good friend Valerie Brandy called um, A Universal Theory of Love. And uh, that's uh, entering the festival circuits now, and it has to do with AI and uh, searching for love. So it's, um, it's a very relevant movie. I had a great time filming it. And you also have like a podcast, don't you? Yeah, On Air with Cash. I actually just released an episode with uh, Lucy Walsh. And uh, we talked about just like our upbringings in Hollywood and just, um, you know, really navigating our own paths and uh, just how we've both even while there's been some like, um, you know, definitely, you know, coming from, you know, kind of a musical and entertainment background, we both just really passionate about film. So it was a really good conversation and I hope people enjoy it. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, yes, I'm, um, my name is Cash, K-A-S-H-H-O-V-E-Y, and I'm at On Air with Cash. You can check us out on YouTube and Instagram. So, Joe, it's so great to see you. We're here at this amazing musical for Footloose, the grand opening. And I think this is your daughter as well, is that correct? Yeah, this is my daughter Mia, who actually did, did Footloose back in 2003 when she was in high school. And so uh, so you, you did the musical yourself in high school? Yes, I did. It was amazing. It's all about the 80s. Yeah. 
that's great. So, um, so we're so happy that the colony is okay. We had a little bit of potential of it not being here, so we're glad to, to have it here now. Yeah, no, it's great. For me, you know, theater, especially at this level, I mean, this is my background. I mean, doing, you know, back in Chicago, doing local theater, it was just, you know, I don't think I'd be where I am today if it hadn't been for that kind of experience. So I'm glad to support it, looking forward to it, and I know a lot of people involved, and so happy to be here. Is there any project that you wanted to talk about today that you're able to? Well, I'm still doing Criminal Minds. I mean, I just I just directed episode four of the ten we're doing on Paramount Plus, so we'll be on Paramount Plus again this this year. It's our second year with them. It's our 17th year with the show, so I'm very happy about that. And so, um, you know, we'll see. On we go. I love that. And is Mia? Is she doing any acting right now? Mia, it's been an art. You know, Mia has has autism, but but she has uh, unique skills, especially as an artist. It's, it's her her painting and drawing. She's pretty active with that. She did some acting in high school, but anyway. Oh, well, so you, so you paint? Yes, I do paint, and I love makeup. She loves makeup. Yes, that's she 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 went to makeup school for a while. It's the first time they had a a person on the spectrum actually get a degree from uh, the mud school which is a makeup school not far from here so anyway Our local school that's great yeah exactly right well I was looking I love your makeup actually it's beautiful oh, thank you so much yeah, it is beautiful oh that's wonderful well thank you so much Joe and thanks for supporting the colony in this amazing musical oh it's great happy to be here thanks thanks for, for, for the interview take care thank you and tell us, I know you're the director of the musical, is that correct? Yes, I co-directed with uh, my choreographer, Michelle Elkin. And how excited are you to be here at the Colony tonight? I only wish that people that are seeing this could be here. It's electric. It's a good night. Yeah. And are you guys here to support your friend? For Barry. I'm here to collect a debt. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? No. It's a great theater, you know. No, it's, it's, it's really like wonderful. the only one left like this. Yeah, well, the, the colony is having a resurgence, and we're so glad to be able to be a part of the rebirth of this wonderful, wonderful theater, a gift, a jewel in the city of Burbank. And you could park. And you, you could can park. park. And you could park, too. Yeah. No, it's for a free. parking space. And the restrooms have ample spaces. They do. They do. Indeed. No. I mean, these are important things in the theater. And, and, and to be and, comfortable and when you come to see with theater. almonds. That's right. Little things. And you guys worked together on some projects before, right? We were in the film Grease. I played duty in the film. Oh, uh, Sonny. Yeah, remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and I played Putsy. But we knew each other. We did the National Company of Grease, the play, yeah. and the Broadway play, so we know each other. And Kelly was doing uh, something with Randall, right? Uh, I did the Boy in the John. Plastic Bubble with John bubble. prior to this, and so, so it was good yeah. company right at the top. And it was instant family. Yeah, I John mean, and Olivia. What a the treat, best. the best, just. Well, I love this. Friendship is so important, I think. And I love that you guys are still friends, still supporting each other. Congratulations on the musical, and have an amazing time tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of this as well. Grease 3, coming up. <laughs> right now. Yeah, right now. Oh, right now. There you go. It's there you Footloose. go. Yeah, call Footloose. There you go. Call Footloose. Anyway. Yeah. You're welcome to sing anytime you want. Okay. <laughs> we go together. A rama lama lama ka ding a ding dong And a wop ba ba loo bop a wop bam boom. boom. There you go. Thank God. I love it. Thank you. Have Thank fun. You. I'm the co-director and choreographer of this production of Footloose. And how are you feeling about this cast? I just think they're very, they seem amazing. I am so proud and excited to have this group of people. There's not like, their hearts are so pure. They all love each other and you can feel it on stage. And I just love them, love them, love them. I love it. And um, where can people find you on social media? Um, at Michelle Elkin on Instagram or www.michelleelkin.com. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> So we're here with Heather, the producer of this amazing musical. How are you feeling tonight on opening night? Good. So excited. I'm the producing artistic director of The Colony, and I am thrilled that we have this show on our stage tonight. Working with Panic Productions and Barson Boo Productions has been, ugh, it's been wonderful. And I'm just so proud. Yeah, and The Colony's had quite a journey the past year. It's been a year. It's been a year. Yes, but we are here celebrating tonight, and that's what this show is all about. 
you know, people, they, they fought City Hall in this in this show. And, Literally. <laughs> yes. And, you know, and it's about a celebration. And that's what we're gathered here to do tonight is celebrate. Yeah. yeah well, you, and it's great. The colony is so important to the community. And it seems like it's even having a resurgence with all these amazing shows. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to build, you know, rebuild something incredible, you know, to, for the community, for the industry, to make it a home for every artist and to cultivate new artists for the future. We love it. And people don't even know, like, the little secrets. Like, the parking is amazing here. The parking. I mean, where can you go where it's just free, abundant parking, right? I know. It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you have such little secrets. It's a, it's a new, newer theater. It's beautiful. It's in a great location. Did you like our renovations that we just did, too? I remember because you were here last time. And it's all new. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Heather, and I hope to be coming here again and again for a lot of new shows. I want you here over and over and over. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Super excited for the Footloose premiere tonight. It's going to be amazing. How are you involved? Are you supporting tonight? I'm performing at the after party, so super excited about that. Super excited to see everybody watch me perform, so it's going to be a great night. So I'm, I'm very excited. Are you a rapper? I am. Yeah, Lil, I go by the name of Lil Chronic. I'm a music artist out here in Los Angeles, California. Came out here four years ago. I'm independent. So it's going to be super excited to see my showcase of style and see my versatility. So it's going to be awesome to see the performance tonight and then me after that. So I'm, I'm super excited. It's going to be awesome. Well, you look great. I love your Appreciate outfit. You. Thank you very much. And where can we find you on social media? You can find me at Lil Chronic and just add three more C's on the end. So just Lil Chronic with four C's. And that's all my social media. So I appreciate y'all following. I got my new album. Hope you understand. That's out now on all platforms. I appreciate y'all. Be ready for my performance tonight. Shout out to everybody at Footloose. Let's get it. Awesome. Thank you. Have fun. Of course. Thank you so much. And how are you involved tonight? I am here as an audience member appreciating some great theater. I'm really not involved in the production. I'm just here as an audience member. You're supporting the production? Yeah, I'm supporting independent theater. I love that. And what projects are you working on right now? Uh, not much, not much. I've been eating some delicious cereal lately. No. <laughs> Let's just say dot, dot, dot. I, I, I have some things pending. I just did a, a great commercial with an awesome director. So hopefully that goes national, if you know what I mean. But otherwise, just, you know, auditioning, working, just, you know, pursuing the dream, as they say. Well, and this is the place to pursue the dream, right? Absolutely. Yeah, Los Angeles, California, baby, the city of angels. And where can people find you on social media? Da uh, my, my full name, Daniel DiMaggio on Instagram. We're here with Suzette. How are you? I'm great. How are you? So... City of Burbank, we saved the Colony Theater, and we're here tonight at the grand opening of uh, Footloose. How do you feel about that? I actually feel great because um, this is amazing. They put a lot of work into this uh, grand red carpet event, and I'm very happy for them, and I knew they can do a great job for Burbank. Yeah, well, we love the city, and we love all you do. Um, any exciting things coming up with the City of Burbank? Well, every council meeting, we have a lot of exciting things happening. So I could tell you that I encourage people to participate, get involved, actually tune in on Tuesday nights when we have council meetings, because it's never dull, it's never boring at the council meetings. And we have lots of important things coming up, like housing, addressing transportation, and many, many other things that are going to be on the agenda in coming month. Have fun tonight and thanks for stopping by. Thank you and it's nice to see you.